Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video on uh, some of my thoughts on some of these programs that I've seen popping up more lately. Um, one in particular that was pushing a three to five pound weight loss a week program and it was like, they give you a diet, they get you taking pills and uh, doing, doing stuff that's gonna be detrimental to your health rather than something that's gonna be supplemental to your health and, uh, and make sure that you have long-term successful results with it. Um, a lot of stuff is, it doesn't have to work, it just has to sell type of mentality. And the other option is, it might work, but it's only gonna work for now. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna be able to keep up and you might be messed up, I was gonna say something else, messed up later on down the road, but uh, it, it can create some issues, whether it is um, biological issues in the body from taking pills and supplements that people don't need to take or shouldn't be taking, and uh, mentally, so emotional uh, issues as well because of whether it's the, the success you had and weren't able to sustain or not being able to get to that point again because you took such drastic measures to get there. So. Um, check out the, the rest of the video and I hope you can learn something for it and whatever you end up doing, wish you all the best and uh, good luck whichever route you take. Hey guys, Paul here from uh, Star Strength and Conditioning, Star CrossFit and uh, I kind of wanted to do this little video because I had seen a, uh, an ad previously in the week that was talking about a boot camp that was guaranteeing three to five pounds of weight loss per week doing this program. So um, I started punching in some numbers and thought that this was crazy because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are like five pounds a week, like sign me up, here's my money, take it. And um, it, it, it kind of sounds too good to be true. So show you to show you what that looks like, We'll say, and, and losing body weight, that could be several different things. That could be losing fat, it could be losing muscle, it could be losing water weight, it could be losing an organ or a limb. All that stuff would count towards, towards uh, losing weight. So it didn't say exactly you know, what percentage of what you were gonna lose, and I know that's very hard to calculate, so that's, that's not gonna happen, but let's just say it is five pounds of weight loss is the, the goal. So five pounds of weight loss. So we want to take a look at how many calories that is first. So we'll say 3,500 calories is a pound of body fat. So that gives us equal 17,500 calories. Okay, so remember this is per week. This is what you're supposed to be losing per week on this plan. So to break that down daily, there's seven days in a week, and let's say we're going hard, seven days, seven days a week on this plan. That's 2,500 calories. So 2,500 calories per day over seven days if you want to be successful at losing that five pounds of weight. So taking a look at that, when I see that, the only way this is going to work is if your daily caloric intake is around 5,000 calories or more, and you're a sedentary person who is not active at all, not doing anything, you have to be taking in at least about 5,000 calories a day or more if you're gonna cut out 2,500 calories a day. Um, for most people, this is not going to work. For some, it could work, it could work great. Um, it would mean some huge dietary restrictions and, and changes, um, but you'd still be taking in you know, 2,500 calories uh, if you were on that 5,000 calorie a day eating habits or diet or whatever you want to call it. Um, but to, to drop 2,500 calories a day is, is very tough for a lot of people. Part of the reason is because women have an average of 1,400 calories a day basal metabolic rate and men take in about 1,800 or sorry, burn about 1800. This is average. So that's basal metabolic rate. So that's if you are at rest, just sitting, breathing, on the couch, not doing anything, that's how much you're gonna burn in one day doing nothing. So that's just sustaining life. If you were to um, be an active individual 
and you want to get more out of your training, you need to be taking in more than your basal met metabolic rate for calories. If you are wanting to get stronger, get more defined, uh, increase your performance in any sport, you need to be taking in more than your daily basal metabolic rate. And this is going to depend on different people. And these numbers are just averages. If you're a bigger individual, um, you're going to burn more throughout the day. Your, your BMR is going to be higher. If you are a smaller individual, it could be a little bit lower. But this is an average number for people. So once again, going back to athletes, depending on you know how much you're training, how many hours you're putting in a day, could be an hour, could be six hours, that's gonna change. Your caloric intake is gonna vary depending on what you are doing and what you wanna get out of what you're doing. So keeping this in mind, if we were to try and take a look at this and see what's a better option, if I wanna lose, we'll, so, we'll say 50 pounds. Someone wants to lose 50 pounds and I know this five pounds a week sounds really great, but if you wanna lose that 50 pounds and you wanna do it in a sustainable fashion, um, and we kind of take a look at some different numbers, give yourself a timeline. How long do I want it to take for me to lose that? And work backwards from there. So let's say you wanna lose 50 pounds in six months. So six, 50 pounds in six months. Let's see how many calories that is. So 50 times 3,500 is going to be 17, 175,000 calories. Okay, so this is in six months. Total number of calories you gotta get rid of is 175,000. So let's divide that by the six months. 29,000, so this is per month. 29,166 per month. Let's divide that out per week now. 7,292 per week. 7,292, still quite a bit. Let's say we're going hard seven days a week. You're training seven days a week. You're cleaning up your eating habits seven days a week. That's a calorie deficit of 1,042 calories per day. So to burn 100,000, or sorry, 1,042 calories per day. Keeping in mind, we want to get at least our basal metabolic rate in, plus some to help us to survive and thrive and be able to perform in the gym or at work if you're uh, if you've got a pretty, pretty active work environment. So trying to create a deficit of 1,042 calories a day is, I would say that's quite a bit. If you're someone who's taking in like, if you're sedentary and you're taking in like 4,000 calories a day, this is gonna be doable. If you're someone who's just trying to lose that weight gradually and you wanna do it so that it's sustainable and that's something that you can maintain, Let's take a look at spreading this out over a year. I know a year is longer. It's actually six months longer than the six month goal, but this would be a more sustainable fashion. So if we go 50 pounds in 12 months, what does that look like? Still 175,000 calories. So this is get rid of it in a year. So right now, 14,583. So we've got to create a deficit of 14,583 per month. Now we'll split that up over four weeks. 36, 46, looking a bit more manageable. Let's say that's only over six days now. We're not gonna go seven days, we're not gonna go hardcore. You get one day off a week. So that's 608 calories. So these are all calories. Oh. Okay. So 608 calories per day is the deficit we are trying to create. This is definitely a more manageable number. You can take this and say 304 calories diet related. This could be a chocolate bar that's like, you know, 250, 300 calories. You cut that chocolate bar out or something adding up to 304 calories. That's done. You exercise and burn another 304 calories and you're at your total 608 this is definitely going to take a longer period of time but it's going to be a lot more sustainable this is only six days a week versus these guys would be seven days a week this is going to be more manageable and if this is habits that you can create and maintain for a year this is something that's probably going to stick if you end up doing this 
and try to lose five pounds a week, it's probably not gonna happen. If you end up doing this option and try to get it done in six months, once again, if you have a high caloric intake for the day, say like 4,000 calories or so, 30, man, 3,500, 4,000 a day, this could be doable, it's gonna to be tough, and this is seven days a week. This one would be your best option. Yes, it's slower, but you're gonna end up getting more long-lasting results as you're not gonna be taking too much of a drastic hit to get this done. It's just small modifications that can lead up to this type of loss and give you that 50 pounds off in one year. So I know the appeal to five pounds of weight loss in a week, which is to me pretty crazy. I know for a lot of people, the sound of that is just amazing. And uh, the, some of the ways of going about it, whether it is going on a super strict diet um, that you're probably not gonna last on, probably not gonna be able to maintain, um, along with taking supplements that are gonna promote um, water loss, so dehydration, um, uh, triple stack pills that are gonna increase your metabolism. I know people that have been on uh, pills like that, uh, fat burners for years and years and years, and they, they're still overweight. They have not lost the weight that they were trying to lose. So that is an issue as well. You're gonna be screwing up your metabolism by taking pills that are supposed to promote fat loss, but it, you, can't, you can't take pills to get rid of the shit that you're eating. So if you are willing to take this route and plan accordingly, the biggest things are making sure that you're shopping to get real food, staying away from anything processed, anything in boxes, a lot of single ingredient shopping is the way to go but that also takes time to prepare the food, to have it uh, readily available for you, to do the cooking, the cleaning of the food, the cleaning of your dishes, all that kind of stuff takes a lot of time, um, but it is worth it in the end. So if you wanna live a more healthy life that you are able to sustain health, fitness, um, you know, thrive when you're older, push away, going into assisted living homes, stuff like that, be able to play with your kids and your grandkids till you're in your 80s and 90s. This is going to be a better way to go and a healthier option for you rather than what can I get now in the shortest time possible. This also does not have a real price tag attached to it. You don't have to go to anyone who's selling anything specific or guaranteeing you that you're gonna be able to lose five pounds a week because it is bullshit. Uh, it's not gonna happen overnight. It is something that you're gonna have to put in work and time for. And if you really want it, and if you feel like you're worth it, then definitely choose the option that you can see yourself lasting with and being able to take advantage of this for the rest of your life. Okay, I'm Paul from Stark Strength and Conditioning, Stark CrossFit, and uh, whichever route you choose, Wish you all the best in luck.